Twitch has just came out with their very own alert system, but that's not the cool part. Twitch has released celebration alerts, which means that you can add a celebration to any of your alerts like followers, hype trains, and it'll just spew emojis all over your stream so everyone can see them. And you can have different variations for it, but that's not it. They also have interactive resubs now where you can go ahead and just upload a handful of different images and sounds and viewers can mix and match between those images and sounds to be able to customize their very own resub alerts. And if you're still not sold, they even have alerts for goals now. So there you go. And a charity tool, which I guess is kind of cool too. So how about we check it out? First, we'll go to our Twitch page, go to the top right corner, and then we'll click on creator dashboard. And you can see on the left hand side that they have their new alerts tab. So you can see you have up to 10 different alert boxes, which I kind of think is overkill because one alert box can handle all of your different alerts. And they even have live alert controls, which allows you to skip replay or block your Twitch alerts with your activity feed. But I'm a person that gets overwhelmed quite easily. So I'm I'm just going to leave that off for now and we'll click on edit alerts under their default option which is enabled so edit alerts this is what the alerts dashboard looks like and you can see we have options for followers subscribers gifted subscribers hype trains charity and goals now and this is just your normal alert box layout if you're familiar with stream elements or Streamlabs. and so if we just click on followers we can go to the general settings on the top right you can change everything that you can normally about your alerts we even have the option for drop shadows which is kind of cool we even have text to speech if you want to text to speech it then we have the visual and sounds where you'll be able to upload different images and sounds which if you guys are looking for some new animated alerts you could always check out owned which i'll leave linked in the description down below and go to the alerts and then go to twitch alerts luckily they're sponsoring today's video so if you use coupon code cpause you'll get 50 percent off and you can just scroll through them until you find the right animated alerts for your stream and your aesthetic but you can see that we have hundreds of different alert packages to choose from so you can scroll through and see if any float your boat and match your style like maybe these wolves these wolves are kind of cool and so you can just click on it look at the preview see what they look like so if you want some alerts i'll leave them linked in the description down below but let's head over back to twitch so the first cool thing that we're going to check out is actually under the subscriptions tab we'll click on resubscription click save changes if you made any changes and then we'll go to the right hand side and scroll down to where it says viewers choose the image we can go to edit viewer interactivity we can go and upload different files and gifts as well as different sounds so that way our viewers can make mix and match. So if you're lazy and you want to do asset library, they have a bunch of them that you can choose between. So I'll pick this alien one. I'll pick this little dinosaur and I'll pick this little trophy. And we're going to make sure to enable this option. And you can do the same with the sounds as well. Then we'll turn it on and then we'll go to viewer preview. So we'll click this button. So this is what it's going to look like for the viewer. So it's a preview for a two month resub. They'll have the option to show their streak in the chat. Then they'll be able to choose between any of the images you have selected as well as the sound. And then they can write their message in chat and then they'll send the alert. So it's really cool to add that extra level of interactivity with you and your viewer. So now we can go back to the alerts editor. We can save our changes. Wouldn't want to lose those. So now you can see that our viewers choose image is enabled. So now we can have our viewers choose their image when they resub, which I think is pretty cool. But the next cool thing that I really think is dope is the hype trains, which we weren't able to control before. So if you want, you can do your hype train stuff. But even cooler is if we scroll down to celebration and keep in mind, you can put celebrations on literally anything, but if you put it on something as simple as a follower alert, it might get kind of obnoxious. So I would leave it on like big things like donations, resubs for like two years plus, I don't know, it's up to you. But you can choose between different effects like fireworks or flamethrower or raining down emotes. And then you can choose the intensity to light, moderate to extreme. But then you can also choose if you just want them to show up on the video only, or if you want it to be on the top of chat, or if you want it literally everywhere, just spewing emojis on everybody everybody's faces. And then below it, you can see we got the danger zone, which just means that, hey, I don't want this variant. So you can just click delete variant and then it'll be gone. So if we click delete variant, yes, it's gone. Oh no, where'd it go? We'll click a new variant. Boom. It's right back. We got brand new from fresh that you can start. They also have one for goals. So if you have the Twitch goals, which if you're unfamiliar, you can go to stream manager. And if you don't see this manage goals button, you can click this little plus button here and you type in goal and then it'll be manage goals there. You'll add the button, then we'll click the button and then you can have a follower goal or subscription goal. So you can put in the amount of subs that you want via total subs or new subs. And so the alerts will just keep track with this goal, which I think is kind of cool because you couldn't do that before. But the one thing, the one thing that I do not like about Twitch's alerts and one thing that I think they missed out huge was the fact that you still have to use a browser source URL. I was hoping they'd at least give the option to have it built into your stream for all my fellow console streamers out there. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm hoping in the future Twitch will will 
consider at least giving an option for console streamers to have alerts because that would be really cool and easy and simple so you don't have to get a capture card and do all this other stuff in order to just have alerts on your stream but if you are on pc and you don't know how to do it it's as simple as clicking the copy button we'll go to our streaming software so you can use obs streamlabs whatever you're using add a new source go to browser source we'll call it twitch alerts we'll paste in this url right here click ok now back on twitch we're going to click send test alert make sure that this is enabled otherwise it's not going to work click on send test alert go back to your stream then you can go and drag your stream alert box wherever you want it and this is where all your alerts are going to be at so watch these other videos to level up your stream my name's cody and i'll see you in the next one